How old are you, Colvin? Five. When I saw Joe, I was excited to see her. I'd been having such a hard time with my kids, and it was good to see that help had finally arrived. I felt relieved. I'm going to drop my bag down over here. Okay. I'm going to let you carry on with your day, and I'm going to watch. Okay. All right, so let's get cracking and do this. Okay. The thing with my kids is they're very unpredictable, so you just never know what's going to set them off. Yeah. The first thing that Mum did was to show me around the house and she really revealed some exciting news to me. I'm pregnant again. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. This was kind of a surprise. Yeah. We decided we didn't want any more because we were having a hard time with our kids. So yeah, so this will be... This will be the, the new room. baby's room. Yeah. With another child coming into the mix, it's going to cause a lot of chaos. <laughs> And then as we got downstairs, things started to get pretty chaotic quickly. No! We're not getting cereal. Snacking is a very big stress for me. They want a snack all day long. We're not having a snack. <laughs> it was pretty clear to me that this snack fight was all about the kids trying to grab hold of mum's attention. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Are you thirsty? <laughs> The fight over the snacks started to get worse when Callan, who's got attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, started to lose it and get aggressive with Mum. That's what you deserve. That's what I deserve. Yes. Research has shown that in an average classroom, at least one child's got ADHD. You're not going to hit me, and you're going to sit and time out. Children with ADHD can find it very difficult to focus, listen, and follow directions. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. And sometimes they can be fidgety and very easily distracted. Stop. Ow. Don't. When he doesn't get his way, it's always a battle. Shall we just take the time over? Mum was trying to use the naughty bitch, but she was being far too confrontational, especially as Callan's got ADHD. Well, I told you to get out of the snap. She didn't listen. No. Get down here and get in time out. No. Do you think you're being funny? Well, I can do whatever I want. Mum's very confused when it comes to how to handle Callan. I don't know how to help him. I want to do the best for him. Carol Lee was struggling on how to handle having a child with ADHD. I get calls, you know, he's in first grade, he's going to detention. I'm having to pick him up from school. He's been on and off medication, but mum is still indecisive as to how best to improve his behavior. Is he on medication now? No. And have you seen a change in his behavior? No, definitely. It's got worse or it's, got... it's gotten worse. The most stressful part is he wants to be good, and he can't be good. I'm kind of at a dead end. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. We, we're going to turn you around from that dead end, and you will know what to do. <laughs> Coming up on Supernet, Callan's ADHD turns homework into a battle. <laughs> And Joe calls Dad out on his lack of support. I am not buying it. Are you selfish? When Super Nanny returns.